is going on guys so you have a samsung galaxy s10 here i'm going to show you how to screen mirror to a samsung smart tv now take note now different brands like if you have a smart tv on like an lg smart tv or sony it's always a different way to navigate anyways again this is a samsung smart tv so the first thing is grab your remote and you want to press on input or source button okay so tap on that and then what you want to do is you want to move over to where it says screen mirroring we can see it right there so go ahead and press on enter and now from here we want to go ahead and grab your s10 and what you want to do is slide down from the top down and then you see that little horizontal line right over here go ahead and slide down again and then this will pop up here now what you got to do is slide to the left so slide to the left and now we have something here called smart view so go ahead and tap on that and then as soon as I tap on that, it should find my TV. It's right here, down here. Let me tap on that. Okay, so the first time you connect your S10 to your smart TV, you'll always get this message here. It only comes once here, but it says, do you want to allow Galaxy S10 to connect? You can manage the mobile device list from the menu. I'm going to go ahead and click on allow. And as soon as I do that, give it a second here. Voila, guys, we are in business. So everything you do from here is going to be an exact mirror. Whatever is on your phone is going to be on your TV. If I put my phone to sleep, that's going to sleep as well. Let me go ahead and log back in here. Every app that you open up, everything that you do, it's going to show on here. Let me show you some pictures and videos that I took here. Here's a photo here, as you can see. Let me, and you can zoom in. Oops, let me grab that picture again. And you can zoom in move that around as you can see there let me zoom back in let me turn this light off here in the in the background so i'll show you a video as well here i just shot this video for an example purpose here as well so here's the video here and let me go ahead and press on play here Now, as you can hear, the volume is actually coming from the TV. It doesn't come from your phone. And, of course, any apps that we open up, Netflix, YouTube, even the uh, Explorer here. Let me just open that up here. And we can see it in portrait mode here. I can go ahead and turn it into landscape mode here. And you can see as I'm strolling. Now, there is like a slight delay, as you can see here. Let me go ahead and play a game, and I'll show you. Uh, there is a delay on here. I mean, like a fraction of a second, as you can see as I'm strolling here. Let me go ahead and put a game on. And again, remember the volume is coming from the TV itself. Okay, let me lower this down. And you'll be able to see a uh, slight delay here. Okay, so, oops. Okay, so you can see as I'm turning here. Turning a left. And you can see that, right? So you see, so you do see like a slight delay here. So it's definitely not advised to play any kind of like graphic intensive game on here. Something simple is fine. But if you need like precision and stuff like that, then you really don't want to play your game on a TV unless you just want to basically play it from the phone, but let other people watch you playing it on the big screen. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.